Hey everyone, Kathy Salmon with Equity Real Estate. You know, lately I've had clients asking me questions about short sales. What are they? How do they work? And even though we're not seeing a lot of short sales in this market, I thought, well, this might be a good opportunity to put a real quick video together that explains what a short sale is and how it works. So what is a short sale? Well, a short sale in real estate refers to a situation where a homeowner sells their property for an amount that's less than the outstanding mortgage balance that they owe on their loan. This typically occurs when the homeowner is facing financial hardship and they're unable to continue making mortgage payments and the value of the property has actually decreased to a point where it's worth less than the remaining mortgage amount. Now, why do a short sale? Well, it provides a way for homeowners to avoid foreclosure and minimize the impact on their credit score while also allowing buyers to purchase properties at a potentially lower price. Now, the process for short sale involves several steps. First, it needs to be approved by the lender. In order to do this, the homeowner needs to show the lender that they're experiencing legitimate financial hardship, such as a job loss, divorce, medical bills, or other significant financial challenges. Now, if the lender approves the short sale, the homeowner lists the property at a sale price that is less than the remaining mortgage balance. Once a buyer makes an offer on the property, the homeowner submits the offer to the lender for approval. The lender will assess the homeowner's financial situation, the property's value, and the offer price, and they'll determine if it's a reasonable price given the current market conditions. Now, if the lender approves the short sale, they'll provide written notification that the sale can proceed at the agreed upon price. The sale process continues like a regular real estate transaction. The property is transferred to the buyer and the lender forgives the remaining mortgage debt that wasn't covered at the sale proceeds. Now, it's important to note that the homeowner might still face tax implications for the forgiven debt, depending on the laws in their jurisdiction. It's also very important to keep in mind that short sales can be very complex and time consuming. It involves negotiations with both the buyers and the cooperation from the lender. And also note, not all lenders may agree to a short sale if they believe the homeowner's financial hardship is not genuine or the property's value is still relatively high. Now, if you decide you are in this situation and you want to do a short sale, then I strongly recommend that you find an attorney that specializes in short sales. And if you're unable to find one, you may want to ask a local real estate agent for a referral. And if you're in Massachusetts and, or Rhode Island and you're looking for an attorney, just leave me a message below and I'll be more than happy to provide you with a great attorney. Well, I hope you found this informative, and if you have any questions, by all means give me a call, direct message me, or leave a comment below.